Today on Stupid Fast RC, we're taking a look at this. No, it's not a portal into another universe. It's a battery charger. And hey, look. Oh my god, the stock market's crashing. Oh, no, it's okay. It's just upside down. Hi, I'm Tom from Stupid Fast RC, and today Dad's going to run you through the X120 DC charger. And it comes with a stylus... Um, it runs off a DC battery and it has touch screen. Okay, so this is the uh, X120 DC charger. Um, the main difference about a DC charger and an AC charger is that this is really made to take with you. Um, if you're actually out somewhere you would take a battery and you don't actually have to plug it into the power. Um, because I use stuff mostly on the bench at home, I've actually hooked mine up to a battery which I just charge from time to time. kind of seems like it defeats a purpose, but um, it's really sort of meant, meant to take with you. I like this charger because um, charging lipos is actually a bit tricky and your lipo health is a little more important than you know your, your traditional batteries. There are obviously quite a different range of batteries that you can get. But in particular, lipos um, need a little bit more care than other batteries. Um, I won't show you around my shed, but um, actually uh, this shed's been on fire because I had a lipo fire. I normally charge my batteries now on a uh, barbecue hot plate because if, if something does go wrong, the fire would actually not burn through the bench. I actually have a fire extinguisher in here, a fire alarm, and uh, the power to this shed has actually got an isolator switch on it, which is separate from everything else. So I take a lot more precautions than I used to and I take it very seriously. On the front of the charger, uh, we've got the power balance ports. There's also a PC link port there. This uh, actually has a 32-bit processor inside of it. Um, I haven't used the PC link port and there's also a 5 volt charging port there if you want to charge an iPad or an iPhone, something like that. Um, which is all kind of cool if you're out and about as well, which is pretty handy. Now unfortunately we're going to get a bit of flicker off this screen so you may just have to bear with that a little bit. This is the first screen that you get up. So this is the battery screen, you can select your lipos, nickel metal hydros, lithium ions, NICADs etc. Um, with our lipos we get some extra options about how many cells so we just pick that we can pick the number of cells here and then we slide this bar up and down this is all written on your battery in case you don't know the amount of current that we want to put in um, it kind of depends on how fast you want to charge it but my understanding is the rule of thumb is if it's a 5 amp battery you probably want to do it by about half so you put about two and a half amps in. Um, charging too quickly is going to shorten the life of your battery. And then the mode whether you're doing a balanced storage, discharge, fast charge. So I've selected balance charge. We can actually save that as a setting. So next time I go in, it's there. Next time I charge these batteries, it'll just go straight in. Some more settings here. And then we hit start. Now, I've let this run for a little minute because it graphs what's happening in the battery as we move along. And as far as I'm concerned, this is where the cool stuff happens. We can see here that it's taking in 7.99 volts. This is a 7.4 volt battery. Going in at 2 amps, which is what we set it to. 45 milliamps gone in and the battery is 19 degrees. Across the bottom here, probably more importantly, you can see the health of each cell as they actually get charged. It's, both of those cells are sitting at the same voltage, which is good. 3.98, uh, sorry, 3.97 and 3.97. As this fills, you'll actually see the green go up in those two batteries and the charge line will eventually go up and fall away completely. So this gives us a dashboard of what's happening inside our battery. We'll also get some warnings about whether or not this battery is suitable to continue charging, if there's anything wrong with it, etc. I think that this is probably the most sophisticated battery charger I've seen to charge my LiPos and um, I'm really excited about it. So far it's been really cool and uh, I'm, I, it's great that you can actually take it with you. Now this is an interesting screen here because the batteries across the bottom you see one at 4.15, 
one with lots of zeros and one at 6.03. So there's a fully charged cell, a dead cell, and a cell that's partly charged. So that battery is pretty much toast. And this is what the screen looks like towards the end of the charge cycle. You can see that it's taken a lot of power in and it's just about to reach the top and it's going to uh, shut down. So there you have it. Um, as I said, pretty cool little charger. Um, absolutely essential to have a LiPo charger if you've got LiPo batteries, obviously. And uh, the more sophisticated, I think, the better. Um, you know, you're going to get more life out of the batteries if you want. So if you're going to store your batteries or um, discharge them or cycle them through you are going to need something like this and it's wonderful that it's after you got the screen to see what you're doing